Hey, today on Wampus Projects, we're putting together a rocker glider. This right here is the model number of it. It's a Costway glider. This is what it looks like when it's put together. And this is the tools that you're going to need to put it together. This is the instructions. It's on two-seated patio rocking glider chair. It has a glass table in the middle. The tools you will need is a razor knife. It comes with the Allen wrench and um, a wrench. That comes with the kit, but you get you a 3 8 adapter and a 3 16 Allen wrench. Adapted for a 3 8 socket ratchet. A 10 millimeter, be a 10 millimeter on socket, a quarter inch, and a quarter inch ratchet. And the, I'm, I'm going to use an um, impact driver to put this together. It goes together pretty quickly. The razor knife is for um, cutting the box open to unbox it. So let's get to it, unbox it, and I recommend sorting through everything. Put all the screws together and makes it go a lot quicker once you get everything out of the box and sort the screws all right let's get it open you got to be careful when you open this it has a string for the package that goes to the um, bolts and nuts that's in here. So you got to be careful when you open it up. Try not to cut it. This is what it looks like once you um, take the, the top of the lid off. Just go through and unpackage everything and organize it. That makes it go a lot quicker. It comes with these foam pieces. You can use it to put it on the armrest. Just rest your arm on if you want to recycle. So you get a knife and just cut right there put it on the armrest. But go through it and unbox everything. It goes together pretty quick once you get it unboxed.
And see, this is the bag I was talking about that they got taped to the outside of the box to hold it in place. It has all your bolts and screws and stuff. Just set this to the side for a minute. Well, if I get everything out of the box, I'll explain where everything goes. I'm not going to edit this video here, so I'm sorry if it might take too long or something. You can always fast forward. Just take this right here, set it out of the way, because you won't be needing this section of the seat. Just move the seat out of the way. When um, this be about one of the last steps we do, put the seat together. It does come with instructions, but as you can tell, it's all there is. It doesn't really explain how it goes. But next, we need to get the screws organized. It makes it go a lot quicker once um, you got everything separated and sorted out. It comes with a nice bag. You can use it for something else. Yeah, let's go through and sort the um, screws out by size. And I'll explain where they go afterwards. Like I say, it does come with its own tools. If you do not have the adapter for an impact driver and the Allen wrench socket. Just by sorting these screws out, it makes it go together a lot easier. Because you're not digging through all this, trying to find the right screws.
like I say, once you get all this sorted out, it makes it a lot easier to join together. Alright, so it's all that sorted out. Let's get our tools together. Stick this into here. This is all you'll need, and it makes it go a lot quicker. With a 316 um, Allen wrench head socket. First thing we want to do is we need to put the base together, the part that the seat's on. We need to put these legs together. It only goes together one way. So you got the holes for this right here. You got the holes. And see that's this part right here that we're putting together that right there we're putting together and you want to use the shorter screws that came with it to put this together See, it goes together just like that. You want to make sure the screws are pointing in. As you can see, the shorter screws goes to the frame. The longer ones, they go for um, the hinges and stuff. So let's put this side together. I always wait till you get it all put together for you... Um, Tighten all the screws up. This only goes together one way. So it's, it's very hard to get mixed up. I recommend you putting the frame together first. That makes it go a lot quicker. Mm -hmm. 
and you want to make sure this bar goes to the inside that way when you're sitting down your feet goes right here and so you want to make sure that is pointing in and then on the back part you have this rod right here goes into right there the two holes there and on this section you use the real the shortest screws that's what they're for for this frame See, this is what it looks like once you get the um these two rails in place. Like I say, make sure this point on the inside it goes around like that, not the other way around. And you got the that back piece right here. And make sure you use the, the real short screws goes in for right here. And with the nut, always make sure the screws point in when you're doing it. And I want to hold on to that thing. Make sure your, all your screws are pointing in. All right. Just tighten it up. All you want to do is snug it up. You do not want to over tighten it. If you over tighten it, the um, covers they give you, they go over these nuts. The covers they give you go over here it won't work because the bolt be sunk in too far being the nut be sunk in so you just want to snug it up real easy to over tighten them They also give you these little plastic caps and they go over every nut that's on here just push them on they just to cover the screws up See, that's what they look like when you put the caps on. You put them on every screw, every nut. 
Alright. Now let's put the um the glider rocker frame together. You want to take these right here. This right here, the flat part needs to be facing outward. The the bevel part, the flat part goes outside, facing outward. The other, this right here needs to be facing inside when you put this together. Always make sure this is inside. You got two of them. And uh, it comes with little plastic spacers. I don't know if you can see them, and um, you put the bolt. You put the screw through here on the flat side facing out. You put the little spacer through it, the plastic spacer through it. And then, then it goes through the frame. And then you put a nut on the inside. put the washer through on the flat side you put the little spacer inside of it and you stick it through the frame and put the nose on it and this goes on the outside of the frame Just repeat on this side. Like I say, don't tighten nothing up until get it all together mm -hmm. see that's what it looks like when you put that the glider part, the rocking part, 